Okay, um, so today is January the 29th. It's uh, Tuesday evening, and um, I haven't been doing a whole lot with the tank here. I've been cleaning out the skimmer. Um, I've kind of cleaned the rocks a couple of times with the toothbrush, but um, I can't say that I've, I've done a very diligent job of it. Um, you start getting in there, you start scraping a little bit, and then it gets hard to see, and you can't see what you're doing. So some areas kind of get clean and some areas don't but um, since adding the GFO and and, um, <clears throat> and the new Kimi Pure um, I, I think things are getting better I just now checked my phosphates and as you can see I'm now 0 0.05 so my phosphate level uh, has definitely improved from from where I started at um, so the Kimi Pure and the GFO are doing their job in reducing the phosphate level in the tank. So I think at this point in time, I, I think my next step is to go ahead and do the three days of darkness. I'm going to cover the tank and turn off all the lights, and we're going to go for a couple of days and see what that does to the to the hair algae. I mean, I've still got some in there. It's definitely not as bad as it once was. Um, I don't know how well you can see that. Yeah, there's still some on the rock there, as you can see. But it's it's where I've cleaned it off. It doesn't seem to have really come back. Like on this top rock in the back, I cleaned that one a little better. Sorry that the tank's a little cloudy. I just cleaned the glass, but I, I cleaned. I mean, so, there's still some hair algae there, but most of what I cleaned off. Uh, has not returned and it does seem that the hair algae is not quite as strong as it once was so I think the uh, the combination of the Kimi Pure and the Fosban have really uh, started to choke off the food supply uh, for the hair algae so at this point I'm going to go ahead and remove the, uh, the light source and we'll see how that does so uh, it'll take a couple three days I'm still continuing to use the Dr. Tim's Waste Away. Um, that I do notice that when I use that, that uh, there is more um, skim mate in in the skimmer, and it does seem to make the skimmer work a little bit better. So, um, and I know that one of the real things to helping get rid of hair algae is, is to removing the phosphates from uh, from the tank and the water and the skimmer is a large process of that so at this point like I said I'll do the three days of darkness check back in we'll check the phosphate levels then and we'll see where we stand with the hair algae so, we'll see you in three days okay so uh, I'm back again um, and I have completed my three days of darkness and you know it does seem to have helped my algae problems. One of the things I'm really noticing now is that I'm not getting the algae built up on the front of the glass uh, or on the acrylic. Um, but but I do have I do still have areas of um, of algae in the tank. I don't know if you can see that very well. I still got areas that it's, it's still pretty thick. Um, you know, it's kind of come back a little bit, not completely, but I've got other areas that it doesn't look nearly as healthy so you know I've never had this much problems with hair algae in my big tank um, and you know in this tank I've been running um, the GFO and um, Kimi Pure both in my in tank media basket and I'm still I just ran my checker and I'm still 0.02 I mean that's really low but um, I mean I've got so much media um, sitting back there in that basket that uh, uh, I would have expected it to do a, a far better job of, of getting rid of uh, the phosphates out of the water so <laughs> I decided that in order to address um, the problem that I've got that I, I, I want to really get rid of the phosphates. Uh, I, I think getting rid of the, uh, the food source in the tank is a, 
the first step, the first thing you really have to do, sorry about moving the camera here, I'm getting ready to show you something else, but uh, I think it's the first step you've got to do. So I made a decision, it was time to get um, a reactor. And so what I've got here is I've got two different reactors. And I'm going to talk about these two different reactors. One of them is an old reactor that I had that I had previously purchased, I don't know, four years ago or so um, from purely H2O. And it's the one on the right. The one on the left is the one I just purchased from uh, Bulk Reef Supply. Uh, I used to buy all of this kind of stuff from purely H2O um, until I found Bulk Reef Supply and I really just like the Bulk Reef Supply stuff more. I mean, I don't know if you can really see that. You look at the difference between these two, so just in the hardware. Um, and like I said, I don't know if purely H2O makes theirs like this anymore or if this is just the old stuff. But you just look at the hardware and you can see the bulk reef supply one here on this side is, is just it's just more robust um, it's using half inch uh, tubing where the purely H2O one was was 3 8 um, and then if you look at the valve on the bulk reef supply one those things are awesome they're really easy to work with and they're just they're really really solid um, then on the purely H2O you got this thing that's just sitting off the side of it and it's it's kinda it just feels kinda like one of those cheap valves that you get at uh, Home Depot um, it, it's just not it's not the same so um, you know all I can say is that if you're dealing with a uh, a phosphate issue um, and, you, and you don't want to screw around with it do yourself a favor and get a media reactor putting you know chemi pure and or GFO in your sump or wherever you put it and and just putting it in a bag is not going to get you the level of interaction uh, the contact time that you need with uh, the, the media to really make it work like it should. You're, you're just, it's just not going to do it. You really need to force that water through the media and, and then you'll get the contact time you want. Um, another thing that Bulk Reef Supply is now doing, uh, they offer, they have two media uh, cartridges. They have the old one which is on the right here and and I've got a bunch of those um, they're nice because you just unscrew them and then put your media in there and and uh, uh, and they work great there's nothing wrong with those these are their new ones these are the clear plastic ones and as you can see you can see inside uh, a lot easier you can see my hand through that and the other one you really can't so one of the problems that you've got is with GFO GFO when you're running it through a media reactor you want the media to tumble a little bit you don't want you want the flow rate to be high enough to where you actually see the some the media on the top kind of floating and and moving around uh, with carbon however you don't want that to be the case with a with a single chamber media reactor I mean I can definitely run GFO and carbon simultaneously uh, but I got so much chemi pure right now that I'm just gonna run the chemi pure in my media basket for a little while and then when I run out of that I'll start running GFO and carbon in this reactor but to do the GFO and carbon what you'll do is you will put the GFO on the bottom and then this thing comes with a couple of sponges which I left in the other room but um, and what you'll do is you'll put a, one of the sponges in there and then put the carbon on top of it and then you'll take another sponge and you'll compact the carbon between the two sponges because you don't want the carbon to be tumbling like you do the GFO. The carbon 
um, you want it kind of packed in there uh, because if the carbon tumbles you'll get it'll it, it's more brittle and it'll break apart and stuff like that and so you don't want that so I'm going to take and I'm going to plumb this thing in to uh, the bio cube here and I'm going to really attack the phosphates and I think that by doing that that I'm going to I'm going to choke out the phosphates in the tank and I think the, the hair algae is just going to go away that's my thought and we'll see if it's worked I mean I've been going at this for a while it's I had planned to use this this other media reactor the one that I had from purely H2O uh, after the three days of darkness but after I got it out and I looked at it and I started hooking up everything to it it just I just really was not happy with it and I just didn't think it was going to work that well so I went ahead and bit the bullet and bought a bought the one from bulk reef supply uh, with the pump and it just comes with a, a maxi jet they call it cobalt maxi jet 1200 I think it was like 60 bucks for the media reactor the media reactor the pump and they, give you, they send you some some tubing um, half inch tubing and uh, you know it, it's just it, it's just a very well it's like everything you get from bulk reef supply everything you they sell is just it's just seems to be built better than what everybody else is offering it seems like so I highly highly recommend bulk reef supply so I'm gonna hook up this this reactor get that thing running um, come back check the phosphates here in a day or two and see how we're doing I mean like I said I think I've made some headways on this thing because it used to be within a couple of days I'd have you know algae growing on the on the uh, plexiglass and I'd have to clean it off and I'm not seeing that so much anymore and I do have see areas where the it does look like the hair algae's kind of been choked out and I do think that you know obviously my phosphate level is down from what it was but I, I want to get it to zero and uh, and once I get that to zero I, I think the I think the hair algae is just gonna go away the reason why I think I've got part of the tank where the hair algae looks like it's it's struggling and part of it where it's doing okay is that uh, the one side is feeding, is taking all the phosphates and it's choking out the other side at, for whatever reason. But uh, that's what I think is going on. So, <clears throat> like I said, I'm going to put the media reactor in and I'll be back in a couple of days, check my phosphates, and we'll see how we're doing.